and welcome to the channel. Today I will show you 10 Chrome extensions that will make your foreign language immersion more enjoyable and effective. Los geht's! My name is Dustin. I'm an IT project manager from Germany. On this channel we create content that helps us to be more productive, to learn new things, especially languages, and to live a happier and more fulfilling life. Nowadays it's easier than ever before to learn a foreign language because there's an abundance of content. But time is limited and we should use the right tools to make our language learning experience motivating and fun. Because we need to do it over the long run. We need to be able to sustain it to be successful. As I always say, language learning is a marathon, not a sprint. For that I will show you 10 Chrome extensions that will make your language learning experience more pleasant and effective. Los geht's! But first, let's have a nice sip of coffee. <sighs> this great browser plugin can turn Netflix and YouTube and other resources into valuable language learning tools. First, it will help you to find the right material. So the material that is comprehensible, so at the right level for you, that you can understand it. And the content that's also compelling, so that's interesting to you. Then it will show you subtitles and translations, even in the free version. In the paid version you can also save words and phrases and also export them or practice them within Language Reactor. I've also already made a video about this tool and I will link it here. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely do so. So the next one is called Tukan and it's pretty interesting because it helps you to incorporate language learning into your day without spending extra time on it. So how does that work? After you have installed the extension, you choose a language you want to learn and then you just keep doing what you usually do. Tukan will replace words of your source language by words of your target language and when you hover with your mouse over it, you can see the translation. Then you can also mark if you know it already. This way you will acquire new vocabulary while doing other stuff. Further, you can also adjust the difficulty and how many words should be replaced. And what I also really like is that it makes your progress visible. There's also a premium version available, but the free one is already usable and not too restricted to see away its main benefits. Then the next one is DeepL and my favorite translation tool that doesn't just come as an app, but also as a browser extension. You can easily translate text or words by marking them, right click and then click on the deep L symbol. It works fast and seamlessly and the best is that the AI translations are of a high quality and in most cases better than the ones Google does. At least for the European languages that's definitely the case in my opinion. Then the next one Google Translate of course shouldn't miss on this list. Even though I prefer DeepL to Google Translate, it's still a great tool and supports way more languages than DeepL. Further, you can also translate a whole page and I find that especially useful because you can translate a page which has been written in your mother tongue or a language you know already very well into a language you are currently learning. And this way you can get some more exposure to the language, kind of the same uh, as with Tukan but in a more extreme approach. Um, and DeepL also offers that feature, but it's only for pro subscribers and it costs money. So you can definitely use uh, Google Translate for that. And the next one are the Google input tools. They help you to type in the language of your choice. It provides virtual keyboards for over 90 languages nowadays. And especially if you are learning languages with a complete different script or alphabet, it's crucial to have a tool like this. And of course, it's completely for free. After you have installed it, just add the keyboards of the languages you are learning or want to use. Then when you are on a page of a specific language where you want to type something, you can just switch your keyboard by choosing it manually or by using a shortcut. Now you just write it like you would in your regular alphabet. And the next one is really useful. Easy Reader can customize and improve the readability of a long web articles. For that, you can configure many options or just go with the default values. The article will be shown in a way that your eyes don't have to wander over the complete monitor. Further, it changes the font type and color as well as the background which really helps to relax your eyes and also to read faster. Also related to language learning and mandatory if you ask me as an ad blocker to ensure that you don't get carried away and stay focused. In a browser like Brave there's one already by default but you can also just use Adblock Plus for example if you are using the original Chrome or any other 
browser of the Chrome family. The next browser extension goes into the same direction and should also ensure that you don't get distracted. For a predefined amount of time, like for example 25 minutes, which is one Pomodoro cycle, it will block predefined pages like Facebook, YouTube or Instagram for example. You can choose individually which pages should be blocked depending on what distracts you the most. This way you can do a focused session of reading in your target language, for example, without getting carried away. So when you're working on your writing skills, it's great to have some help fixing the errors you make. Of course, you need to have a certain level first that you are able to build sentences and phrases, but to improve, we need to get feedback. And language tool comes in pretty handy for that. It's always there when you're writing something in a browser window and it will give you correction advice. I'm using it all the time and after a while you stop making the same errors again and again. Further, it is better in terms of privacy than Grammarly, for example. So it will keep your data private and don't upload it and save it somewhere on a server in the internet. And then if you like to consume YouTube videos or videos on any other platform, to improve your listening comprehension, then you probably know the feeling of not being able to keep up with fast spoken dialogues or conversations. Especially at the beginner or intermediate stage, this can really feel daunting. And to help you with that, I can recommend using a tool like a Video Speed Controller that does exactly what the name says. It enables you to control the speed of a videos that play in a browser or in a very fine grained manner in 10% steps. This is important because if you slow things down too much, it will distort the audio. And then you can also speed things up if you are already advanced. This will save you definitely some time and will keep your language learning fun and interesting. And that's actually it. Please let me know in the comments which extensions you are using to help you with your language learning or which extensions you like the most. And if you found this video useful, please leave me a like and a subscription to the channel. And to not miss anything going forward, click on the notification bell. Thank you very much for watching and see you the next time.